hottest at the border? Why the president needs to address this national security threat before it's too late? And it's your last chance to vote in tonight's Instapoll. What should we do with the thousands of children crossing into our country? Facebook or Twitter? See uh, my friend Frank Gaffney. Good evening, Frank. Good evening, you, Judge. You know, Frank, you are an expert on what is going on in the Middle East. You know, ISIS, the caliphate, and, and their attempt to literally regionalize uh, 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 their organization and to eliminate national borders. Uh, do you believe that given what's going on in our southern border, on our border, that we are at risk by those people? Well, I actually consider this to be a global jihad, uh, a part of, if you will, the war for the free world. I really think that's what's at stake, is freedom more generally, not just in regions, as you say, of the Middle East, but worldwide, and, and including here. And I think there's no question that what we're seeing is growing evidence that enemies of this country who have a shared goal namely the imposition of Sharia and its uh, rule according uh, to Sharia by a caliphate, whether they're organized or flying the banner of um, the Islamic State, uh, whether they're Al-Qaeda, whether they're Hamas, whether they're Hezbollah, whether they're the Taliban, they all agree uh, that this is, in fact, their purpose. Even the Iranians, who have differences on some points of, uh, of uh, you know, Islam, all are agreed that Sharia is the way. And I think they are, in fact, exploiting the porousness of our borders. They are, in fact, here in places, at very least some sleeper cells are, have been identified, and more are almost certainly on their way. Well, you know, reports this week say that ISIS militants seize nuclear materials in Iraq. Your reaction to that? Well, it was nuclear materials in Iraq this week. It was uh, a chemical weapons facility the last week. Mm -hmm. They were parading around a Scud missile uh, recently as well. They are, in short, now acquiring basically the means for mass destruction of various kinds. And unfortunately, when you compound that with what Iran is also acquiring in that regard, uh, what Syria and other nations have that have uh, the potential to fall into bad guys' hands, including Hezbollah's, you, you really see this problem metastasizing, and it is a threat, just as in your previous segment, you made the point, Judge, and in your opening, there is a threat to the public safety of the American people as well as the national security, and I'm really uh, appalled that the Obama administration is actually exacerbating this problem rather than protecting us against them. You know, Frank, I think it's very interesting that if you recall, right after Benghazi, the Obama administration went out and, and bought uh, uh, advertisements to apologize to the Muslim world for a video that had nothing to do with anything that we paid for, meaning the advertisement. You would think that they would do the same thing in Central America, saying even though we said that the kids who were here illegally are, you know, we're going to give them citizenship, don't come over here. I mean, why do you think he's doing this to us? My personal assessment of it, Judge, is that this is part of uh, the administration's plan. To do I think what? That they have, I think that they have sought to bring more illegal aliens into this country. I think they are considering them uh, incipient uh, democratic voters. I think that they believe that to the extent that they can intensify the pressure from such uh, influxes of uh, illegal aliens, they can have their way with the Congress, whether it's the $4 billion that they're asking for now or maybe comprehensive immigration reform. In any way, I think their wow. purpose ultimately is a wrecking operation on well, the republic that we love. And I think this is only one aspect of it, but a particularly insidious one. Well, you know, it's really a shame because it's not just changing the demographics. I mean, we're talking uh, public uh, health issues as well. Frank Gaffney, always good to have you on. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you, man. Good to and talk with you. And now it's time for the result of.